Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video we're going to have a look on how to automate tasks with Python in Photoshop. So if you followed one of my last tutorials on how to avoid texture repetition on organic textures, we created a texture for this stone wall. But as I'm still working on the textures, I needed to remove some of the details and increase the depth of the displacement. As you can see in the new render, I was able to increase the depth of the stones, edit editing the different tiles in Substance Designer and later replacing the previous textures with the new ones in Photoshop. Here we have the main file in Photoshop, as you can see it's too busy with details and it doesn't allow to increase the displacement in Maya, as it creates just a noisy result in the render. These are the new texture tiles that will replace the current in the main file. If we try to do this manually, it will take a long time and be very tedious to do. Not to mention that working with 4K 32-bit textures, everything gets a bit slow. So instead of manually replacing the textures, we will automate everything with a simple Python script. Let me launch PowerShell to run the code and watch the script in action. And this is the result of the script, opening the new textures, pasting them in the right place with the same scale of the previous one, and also flipping the textures in X and Y if that's the case. More on that later. Before we start to write code, let me just tell you what you need to follow along or create your own scripts. First you will need Python installed in your machine, just download and run the setup, we'll be using Python 3. Then you have to add the Python path in the environment variables of your system. If you are working with EXR files in Photoshop, you should download this free plugin Pro EXR. In our case, it will just prevent the common pop-up to show when we open these types of files. Finally, to manipulate apps on your Windows machine, you will also need the Win32 Python library, if you don't have it already. To install it, just use pip, as you, as you can see in the screen. We'll be using PowerShell, at, as it's something that's already available on Windows. Nothing complicated, we're just going to use it to run the Python file change directory with the cd command and cls to clean the console. So this is the final script we'll be creating and we'll be using Sublime Text as a code editor. Create a new file, save it and let's start by importing the win32.com.client that will be needed to manipulate Windows apps. Create a command to open Photoshop and then open the PSD file we're going to edit. If we run the code, you can see that it's working as expected. Now we need to look at the file, which is a bit of a mess, and see how it's organized. As you see, we have a master group and then sub subgroups containing the texture layers. In order to manipulate the textures, we need first to select the master group. So let's use the command layer sets, which is the code name of groups in Photoshop, and select the first group in the PSD file. Then in another variable we can select the subgroups, which are the ones containing the textures. Then 
but if we run the code you can see it's giving us an error, let's see what happened. Let's instead get the actual name of the group and subgroups. And as you can see we are indeed getting the correct name of the master group, but for the subgroups we need to do something different. We need to create a loop, so for each group in the subgroups print its name. And as you can see we are now able to select the target groups, so we can manipulate them later. Ok, let's run the code again and in Photoshop you can see we have the height texture as the base of the group, so let's target it in our code. For that let's select the current group, then the layer with the art layers command, giving it an index of minus 1, which is the base layer. And as expected it's printing out the name of the height texture layer. Let's set the base layer in a variable. Now we'll need to know the width and height of each layer in order to resize the new textures when, we, when they are pasted in the main PSD file. For that let's use the bounce command and do some basic math. To be able to position the new textures in the correct place, we need to get the position of the current texture. So let's create two variables with position X and position Y, using the document and layer width and height, doing the right mat. This will give us the center of the layer position. Next, let's focus on importing the textures, set a variable on the top as an empty string for the texture name. Now below, add a variable setting the path of the new texture to be imported. Open the texture in Photoshop, select the first and only layer of the new texture, copy the layer to the clipboard and close without saving. Finally, we can set the main file as the active document and paste the texture there. Now let's set the pasted texture as the active layer and move it to the top of its respective group. Let's run the code and see what happens. As you can see we are getting an error because we need to specify the texture name and I forgot to do that. I will just steal the code from the finished file. We have three different texture variations. If the name of the group is group 1, set the texture name as the first texture and do the same for the other two variations, group 2 and group 3. After running the code we now have the correct result, each texture imported is related to the previous texture variation. I hope this is clear, there are some moving parts here and there, let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Now let's use two, the two functions that I found online, I will link below the source that will resize in pixels and any image and also translate to the, desire, to the desired location. 
Having pasted the new functions in the document, we can now use the first one to resize the imported textures. Finally, let's use the translate function to move it to the original location of the previous textures. Running the code, everything looks to be working fine, we have a new set of textures on the document. One problem we will have is that in the original textures along the document, we have flipped them randomly to avoid too much repetition. And as far as I know, there is no way to get that information from the layers, so we will need to add an underscore x, underscore y and underscore both in the original layers, so we can later use that information in the script to automatically flip the textures for us. It's the only manual part we need to do. Let's steal the code from the finished script and as you can see we are filtering the end of the layer name and using the resize function with negative values to flip them accordingly. Running the code again you can see that it's now working fine, adding the new textures with the correct size and translation. As a final touch, we can delete the original layers, since we don't need them anymore, but in this case I am just going to hide them. You could also export the texture in your script, but I prefer to do it manually. So this is it, the final script, it took me some time to find information on how to use Python with Photoshop as the most commonly used is uh, JavaScript. Hopefully you'll learn something new, let me know if you have any questions. I am still working on the textures of this wall, so this is not final by any means. Just wanted to share this idea with you. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Bye bye.